Hey, Wellenberg World Entertainment, and this is the review for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. Just watch the movie. I'm gonna give you spoilers and non spoilers. There's really nothing to spoil, to be honest with you. First things first, there is no Shredder in this movie. So don't expect to see him. There is Bebop and Rocksteady. <sighs> Barely. The main villain is Superfly, voiced by Ice Cube. There is a mid credit scene. There is no post credit scene. So all in all, we'll start obviously with the non-spoilers. All in all, what is this movie like? Well, to start with, the animation is god-awful. I hate the animation in this movie. I don't know whether they were trying to go with a cross between traditional animation and what the Miles Morales movies are like. It's just, it's horrible and very muted and dull and just bleh. It's god awful. The action, there's next to no action. Honestly, there's next to no action. They really just kind of fart about on rooftops. Take the, I think it's the opening scene of the Michael Bay reboot movie of the Turtles. When they're up on the rooftop filming each other on phones, cutting watermelons. So they do that scene. You actually get that scene again. But that's all they're constantly doing. They're constantly on rooftops. There's one very peculiar moment and it's stands out like a sore thumb in this it's when we first meet them and they're going to get groceries but on the way home the three of them want to go and watch movies because they want to start getting into the real world like with humans and stuff and it's Leonardo who just wants to get back to Splinter like he's saying look you know he's looking for us we gotta go back they go to where the humans are sitting outside watching a movie they're watching Ferris Bueller's Day Off but you actually get the actual film of Ferris Bueller's Day Off it's not an animated version of it it's the actual movie so you have real world movie in this horrible animated cartoon which was really weird Jackie Chan is the voice of Splinter he's fine he's barely in it there's controversy over something with Splinter which we'll get into um, a little later it's not actually spoiled movie but you've probably seen it the performances in voice are a bit annoying to be honest as I said Jackie Chan is fine but the turtles, the three, or sorry, four turtles themselves, they did this thing where they just constantly talk over each other. And it's head wrecking. Like, it's, you're just like, wh why are they all talking over each other? And it's not talking over each other where you, you can make out what each one is saying, where it's meant to be funny and stuff. You can't understand the word they're saying. Which brings me to the next big issue with this movie. The music. To start with, it's almost like a, a running music video. Because you can't go five minutes without a hip-hop song playing in this thing. When it's not a hip-hop song, it's just generic music. But it's so loud that it actually is awkward to hear some of what they're saying. Oh, it's and just the music choices were terrible as for April O'Neil of course we know the controversy with April O'Neil that she's been changed race swapped yeah it's not April O'Neil <laughs> I, I don't care say call me race all you want this character is not April O'Neil all in all in the non-spoiler part what I will say about this movie is if you grew up loving 
the original cartoon and even the original two movies because the third one is garbage and forget the third one if you loved all that stuff you will hate this movie you truly will it is not a teenage mutant ninja turtles movie these characters are not the turtles they by the way they pretty much hate splinter and splinter hates humans yeah that's right they're constantly ripping on splinter calling him old and all the rest that he's a a lock-in and all this and he hates humans they even call humans demons it's just it's not a ninja turtle movie and with that we're gonna get into the, the spoilers and as i said there's really not much to spoil in this so here we go spoilers five four three two one so superfly is trying to get pieces to a, a, a machine to build this thing to wipe out humans and to just have all mutants rise up so they can be the dominant force his team are bebop rocksteady scumbug and a bunch of others there's a company that was trying to get baxter if you remember baxter became the fly basically in the original series well in this time he's not turning into the in matter of fact he dies they kill him at the beginning but he was raising superfly and a bunch of the other ones it's the company the company that are after him they're after the mutants they're in it at the beginning then we don't see them again until uh about half an hour in then we get them one more time and they're really building these up to be kind of the big bads of the movie and they capture the turtles and they're what they keep calling milking the turtles and they keep doing this running joke of you don't have nipples how can they milk you as soon as they get freed splinter comes and frees them there's no word of a lie you never see this company again all that entire arc in the story is gone it's no longer in the movie you're like okay <laughs> so where did that storyline go it's just it's gone it's done they never mentioned it again never mentioned this company again so stupid um now the controversy and what ends up happening is they convince like the turtles and splinter and april convince all the other mutants to turn against um superfly they think they destroyed the machine he falls into the ocean with the machine turns him into like this super fly crossed with a whale he goes to the zoo and ends up getting all the animals in the zoo transformed into him as well and they basically all team up humans end up helping them they go they take down superfly by throwing this blue electric thing into his uh, cut or something on his back which gets into his blood system and destroys him all the other mutants come to live with splinter and the four turtles all of them including bebop and rocksteady that's right bebop and rocksteady are no longer villains by the way bebop is voiced by seth rogan and rocksteady is voiced by john cena splinter ends up in a relationship with scumbug yeah and here's where the damage control and controversy comes with scumbug and splinter there's posters that were released of scumbug that clearly says scumbug as himself so they were very much indicating that scumbug was a male character and scumbug and splinter make out paramount are trying to pull them posters and the director is trying to come out and say oh no 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 it, 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 it's not a dude it's not a dude even though all the indications were that it's a dude except for the one part where splinter says i i like her 
we, we I have a lot in common with her. That's the only indication. Now, I would say they did that and they changed in post-production or whatever. So the movie ends up ending with the boys, the boys, the, the four turtles, getting to live their dream by going to high school. And that's where the movie ends. But then we get the mid credit scene. And the mid credit scene is the company who fucking vanished midway through the goddamn movie. <laughs> you know, we're trying to capture all the mutants and all of a sudden they're just like, okay, we're just going to abandon this story out completely. It's the leader from that, Cynthia, talking about, she's got a video on the four turtles and she's talking to someone saying about they're, they're going to have to come up with plans to capture them. And you see a silhouette of a person who's responding. There is one possible way. And they're looking at a window back at the city. And you can clearly see it is Shredder. This movie already has a brand new TV series set up on Nickelodeon. And a sequel. They greenlit a sequel before this movie even came out. Which is ridiculous. So all in all, this movie does not represent the Ninja Turtles in the slightest. By the way, you don't get to see at the beginning how they become the Ninja Turtles. You get told it. Three fucking times you get told how all the mutants became mutants. Yeah. Three times. And when they get told it, when we finally meet Splinter, He's telling them the story of their origin as a punishment. No, I'm not shitting you. His punishment to the four boys for being late and going to watch a movie was to tell them their origin story. Yeah. Splinter also is not a kung fu master or anything like that. He learned martial arts by watching videotapes. So they've changed that as well. The movie, oh, and April O'Neil is a teenager, still in high school, who they call Puke Girl because she doesn't want to be on camera because the last time she did for the school, she puked. And they keep showing you her getting sick because it's another one of those movies that they beat you over the head with a joke until the punchline sinks in. It's like, yeah, we get it. It's not funny, we but we get it, and they just keep going and going. All in all, this movie is garbage. Absolutely garbage. I wouldn't even bother bringing kids to see this thing, because they'd probably actually just get bored, especially with the look of it. Because, as I said, the visuals, the animation, it's terrible, and it's so dark and dull. It's horrible. This movie is pure trash i give this thing a one out of ten and that one is for jackie chan because he's inoffensive in it and <laughs> you know he he's doing his best i don't think he really realized what he was in and there's one joke one joke that got a smile from him. not a laugh but a smile and it was with uh paul rudd's character he's a lizard Michelangelo finds his tail you know when they're fighting uh, Superfly and he thinks he's dead and he finds his tail and he runs behind him and goes it's okay it grows back and he just kind of forces his tail back out and goes see and runs off it's just the way it happens it's a bit funny that's it w one joke landed for me it, to get a smile nothing else but other than that no it's not the turtles it no <laughs> it doesn't even resemble anything just go back and watch the original cartoon and the original movies that's the turtles so there you go that's the review for mutant mayhem it's just a noisy horrible looking mess and with that i'll leave it there for this one so cheers and i'll catch you in the next one